It's my grandfather, a Chatham seaman, just an ordinary seaman who was involved in momentous events. He was forcibly put into the Navy when he was 12 years old by a magistrate in London because he was caught being vagrant. And the magistrate said, you're not a bad boy, but there's danger of you becoming one, so you will send you to Chatham to join the Navy. So he came down here, here in Chatham, much against his will, and he, were, he was annoyed about it. So they said, oh, you're one of those, are you? Well, we'll put you in Pembroke, and you can learn boxing. And he, he said he was in the ring 30 seconds, and some tiny little kid knocked him out. So he thought he'd better, <laughs> better learn this boxing properly. And then he was put on the Armageddon, a battleship, went off to Malta and uh, came back at 1914. His seven years were finished, but, but he came back for the Spithead Review and they said, no, you're not leaving the Navy. From now on, you're HO, hostilities only. When the war's over, you could go. Right, he said, so that was Mark I against the Navy. That was the first, first thing that upset him. And, uh, he was on the Zeebrugge raid, he was destroyer man when the war progressed, on the Zeebrugge raid, um, he was on that. He was based at this time at Harwich, um, in a brand new destroyer for Attila. And he was on HMS Oldswater. And 1918, early, early February, they were escorting a convoy off the Dutch coast when the Oldswater, it was about three months old ship, blew up. And the captain said, ah, mine. He radioed, I've hit a mine. The flotilla leader, the Scot, came alongside and that blew up. It wasn't mines at all, it was torpedoes. It was a U-boat sitting there and thought, thought he'd had a bonus day. Two, two uh, Royal Navy ships, modern ones. So my granddad, he went from the Old Water across the deck onto the Scot. And when the Scot started to sink, he took to the boats. And when they were uh, torpedoed they, or sunk, they got two weeks survivor's leave. So he thought, oh, I'm due for a month. He got nothing. They said, no, nope, you never got your feet wet. You never actually landed in the sea, so you can't be a survivor. Mark II against the Navy. <laughs> Didn't get he, he kept, even when he was a very old man, he used to say to me, oh, I never got more leave, you know. And um, so back to Harwich, and a lot of, he was busy the whole time. And then the war ended. Came 1919, the Navy didn't release him because by this time he'd become the Navy's welterweight boxer and he was pretty good and they, they wanted him to stay boxing and boxing sent him to the National Sporting Club to fight box with the army which he won he was very good he kept it all and they said no nope, you can't leave he said but the war's over and they said yes we are aware of this um, but we're so very sorry Seaman Perry we can't let you go so, what, what would you do? He walked off on his own, <laughs> uh, took his mother's maiden name, and went selling for her coats. So he said, free, I'll give him three chances, he said. So that was fair enough, wasn't it? So he was a reluctant hero, if you like. Uh, just a story of an ordinary Chatham writing. Ordinary, no, no heroics, no modesty. <laughs> With him, you got what he what he told you, that, but it's always interesting. Uh, this story all came out. I was, I was quite old. I'd got on a bit, and I said to him, "Where's your medals?" Didn't give me none. So I said, "Well, you can apply for them now." No, don't you get in touch with them. That navy's got long memories. <laughs> I said, "Oh, right." And that's what I thought. Well, I'll, when he died, I thought, oh, "I thought, what happened there?" Much surprisingly, 
So the, never, the Navy never caught up to him then at all? No, he's gone out of the Statute of Limitations, oh. which he thought was quite good. He liked the sound of that. <laughs> Statute of... I'm a little stoker, he said. And I've ended up World's Weight Champion and Statute of Limitations. Not everyone's got that, he said. That's quite important, you know. I said, is it? He said, oh, yeah. 